only by these four chakras you can control a society, right? And this is what's happening to us right now. Today, we're going to talk about chakra imbalances caused by our society, our uh, way of controlling us, media. And for people that don't know me, my name is Hesad Nani, and the channel that I started is about uh, regaining your power in life, also um, understanding the programming that are out there, and just take the control back for your life, for your relationship, etc. And uh, today we're going to talk about chakras, and I'm going to focus only on the first four chakras because these are the four most important chakras that being, are being affected by the society that we're living in and uh, how we are being controlled and how we are not um, in the position to make our own choices and not in the position to just act uh, with our freedom. So how I'm going to construct this video is as if I am or we are um, the source of control and we have this group of people that we want to control, the group of society. And um, just to let you understand that there are techniques that um, these, um, let's say, groups or these people that are controlling us are using in order to have us tied down. This is not, these videos are not coming from hatred. These videos are not coming from anger. This is for your information. This is, these videos are just to show you how your life is not at, at its fullest potential. So if we look at chakras, the first four chakras are the root chakra, the sacral, solar plexus, and heart chakra. And as you get into the chakra system, um, you understand that for your energy to move up to the higher chakras, which makes us, you know, intelligent, human, connected, conscious, the energy needs to move from the first four chakras. It needs to first move from root to sacral, sacral to solar plexus, solar plexus to heart, and then after that only gets a chance to go through your throat, third eye, your crown, which is your intuition and is your higher power, right? So if you have, if we have a society that we want to control, then we make sure that the energy levels stay below these chakras and don't get a chance to move higher because if the energy moves higher, then um, people start questioning, people start thinking, people start being more intelligent and more awakened and more conscious of how they're living. So they're, it will be really hard to control that society, right? And I'm, I'm really unbiased here, so I'm not blaming any, anybody. I'm not saying us versus them kind of attitude. Um, there might be reasons why we need to get, you know, be under control or um, I don't know, maybe is either good for us or bad for us. Maybe it comes from greed. Maybe it comes from um, sense of protection. I'm not putting any opinions on that area. So um, if you know, if you don't know about root chakra, root chakra is all about your security, about you feeling good being you. And um, so what's happening out there in the society is that uh, a lot of people are going through financial crisis, financial troubles. Um, they are trying to survive. They're trying to hang on to their life to, to um, either provide for themselves or provide for their family. So this struggle that is being created in our society, either financially or, you know, status, um, affects our first chakra. And it's happening a lot out there with the financial crisis, with um, people getting poorer and poorer and, um, you know, trying to survive. So the first thing that these sources that are controlling the society have done is that um, they put people in a survival mode, right? And that goes head to head with our first chakra, which is the first source, the first place that the energy enters to move higher. So a lot of people are stuck there. A lot of people are stuck at the survival mode and they don't get a chance to 
um, kind of balance this chakra so that the energy can move higher in the system. Uh, the second chakra is the sacral chakra, which is in charge of our emotions, our sexual energy. And, you know, as we see it out there in the media, um, sex is being advertised. Everything is, all the content out there are, are being overly sexualized. And we're bombarded by this kind of content. Um, there's more people watching porn. There are more people masturbating. There's a lot of sexual imbalances um, in our society, which really hurts us. Because let's say I give you an example of porn and masturbating. Um, if you constantly masturbate and if you constantly ejaculate your sexual energy, then what happens is that most of your um, sacred energy that is moving up is going to be extracted from the second chakra and being wasted on something that is not even, you know, logical. You know, you're wasting your energy on uh, a pleasure which only lasts for five to ten minutes and... Um, yeah, that, that kind of imbalances your sacral in, um, chakra. If we move up to the third one, uh, which is our solar plexus, which is about our willpower, our confidence, our, our, our need to grow, our, our let's say, uh, sense of actualizing things and achieving stuff, um, what's happening is that our um, society is again, bombarded by activities, habits, bad habits, content of really messing up with your dopamine receptors. And dopamine receptors, just to explain to you really quickly, um, are in charge of releasing dopamine so that you get motivated of doing stuff. That's, that's when you're motivated, when you have a lot of dopamine release in your brain and in your neuron system, um, then you will actually start something. You will actually do something. You will finish what you started. So what's happening out there, if you notice it, is that a lot of people ha are struggling um, either to start um, a project, a relationship, uh, let's say uh, a, a passion. They've either have, you know, they're either struggling to start or if they get started, they give up really, really fast. It's because our dopamine receptors are messed up. And how is it messed up? Porn, social media, um, let's say uh, general media that is bombarding us with content and bombarding us by um, ways to release dopamine really quickly and really messing up with our dopamine receptors so that, you know, when we're faced with more uh, challenging stuff in life, then there's not enough dopamine and our receptors are really messed up that cannot uh, release that and capture that, that we give up. We like, you know, this is too hard. I'm not going to be able to do that. Maybe I'm not made for that. Um, I don't have the willpower. I don't have the energy, which, you know, even it's related to the first two chakras that we talked about. I don't have enough energy. I don't have enough patience to complete something. Um, so that's all about the third chakra that I just talked about. So by imbalancing these three, th these three chakra centers, the beginning chakras, then you can easily manipulate, you can easily control a society. Because if you really think about it, if... If you want, if a society wants to create a change, which goes against the bigger powers, first of all, they need to feel secure. Second of all, they need to have enough energy, enough passion. Second of all, uh, third of all, they need to have uh, the drive, um, the let's call it uh, the, the enough dopamine to get something started. So, by only these three chakras, a lot of people are just stuck in a loop where they are in life, and. Um, they just they just either stuck in a rat race or um, they're just you know not aware of uh, what's happening in their life. And if we move to the fourth chakra, which is the heart chakra, which is your connection with the divine, your connection with love, your relationship with other people, um, what's happening is that there's a lot of competition happening out there. So competition creates separation. And once we talk about separation, as we see it out there with either coronavirus or, um, or other 
things happening with the racial differences, with, with, uh, with let's say, call it diversity and all that. There's a lot of separation between people. There's a lot of us versus them, and, and there's a lot of promotion on, um, on these kind of topics, which separate us. Because, again, one person cannot create a change in a society. There need to be a lot of people gathering together um, to create a change. And if people are separated, if people are not connected, connecting with each other, then that group will never get created. That those people would never gather together to create a change, right? So only by these four chakras, you uh, can control a society. Right, and this is what's happening to us right now. And I'm not even focusing on uh, the unhealthy lifestyle that we have and on unhealthy things that we eat and do and think about. I'm just focusing on these chakra system. And uh, if you really study the chakras, then you get more aware of what's happening out there, more aware of what's going on. So there is a fix for that. There is. There, there can be a movement of people um, balancing their fourth chakra. So then and after, only after then, can get energy for their throat, third eye and a crown chakra, which is in charge. Let's say your throat is in charge. Your expression is in charge of your communication. Um, your, your, your ajna or your third eye is in charge of your intuition, your, your, your vision about life and having your eyes open to see things and understand what's happening, things, what's happening around you and your crown, which is your connection to the divine and to the higher self. Um, so to balance these chakras, first of all, I will suggest for you to go on on Google or search anything online about how to balance your chakras, especially the first four, which is, which are being affected. Um, but some things that you can do with like some quick fixes that you can do right now is first of all, you know, fix up your nutrition diet, you know, eat more greens, um, definitely quit porn because porn affects your th uh, second and third chakra massively. It mess, messes up your dopamine receptors and also um, it ejaculates your energy from the sacral. And there are a lot of traps, like most, mostly financial trap and security traps that are related to the first chakra. Like, be aware of them. Open your eyes. See that they're out there and see which kind of traps you're getting into so that you can release those imbalances from your first chakra and then start moving up um, the energy. And also for your heart chakra, which is about your connection and love, is love unconditionally. Do not accept separation. Do not accept activities which results in separation. Always when you're about to do something or deciding something, ask yourself, does this promote separation or does this promote um, unity? Does this make me connect with people or does this thing that I'm about to do separate me from other people? Again, you know, if you put good and bad labeling aside, um, not saying like that person is good or bad or this thing is good or bad, then you can move towards unity. You can connect more with people, right? So I'm not going to make this video too long. I just wanted to talk to you about the first four chakra and how we're getting affected and how we're getting controlled by it and how you can do your research of what's out there that you can use, what techniques, what changes in life are out there that you can use in order to balance your fourth, the first four chakras so that you gain control back. You gain your freedom of choice. You get... Let, imagine this, like if your brain is not working properly, if, if, if you are in a survival mode, if, if you are um, sexually affected by all this content, then you lose your freedom of choice. It's it's very unconscious thing happening here because you don't realize that you don't have a choice out there because, you know, we're, we're living in a free society like that, like free society. But um, if you're living really unhealthy, then your choices are coming from an unhealthy background. So you're not making right choices. So you're really not 
free <laughs> if you think about it. So I will make more videos, you know, related to these kind of topics, but I just wanted to talk about the four, first four chakras this time. And yeah, just go out there. Don't accept, don't, don't submit to the way of uh, how to live your life that is being promoted by uh, media and society and communities and all that. Don't accept that. Do your own research. Be aware. Question everything. And always look for the end result. Like, there is always a secret agenda behind everything that is being promoted. So find that. Trace that secret agenda. Why am I being um, promoted? Or why am these kind of things are being promoted to me to do? Why is, are these things suggested to me to do? Who's benefiting on that? What does that result into? Is that separation? Is that unity? Do I get closer to my friends and family or other people in the community or do I get separated? So yeah, do not submit. See you later.